before we go any further, I think we have to go real quick. Rest in peace to Mr. Adam West. Um, that, um, yeah, that, that was that was a rough blow, I think, for a lot of people uh, yeah. especially that are Adam West fans. I'm sorry to start this on a rough note, but I think this is this this episode is is dedicated to Adam West. I think okay. that's good. I like that, right? I want to know what's going to happen with um, Family Guy because he's the mayor. Oh yeah, and actually, it's funny. I I talked to the mayor before this all happened, and I was talking about the press conferences and everything. And this is what he said: "I stand behind my decision. This press conference is over." I can't see you now. I can't hear you now. You're not here now. La, 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 la. <laughs> what are they going to do without that? I know. Uh, what are they going to do uh, without that? I want to get all the A's out of my body. <laughs> so good. So good. So talented. What a guy. But, um, yeah, so rest in peace. He, he died at uh, the ripe old age of 88. So, uh, but, yeah, so I just wanted to say that. Now we can move on. I feel good. Uh, I, d- I didn't want to forget to do that. That would be, I, I would feel really bad. So, okay. Uh, Verlaine, what have you been playing before we get into everything E3? <laughs> um, I have been playing a, I tried out this game called The Culling. Uh, a lot of people probably know it. I believe it's on PC. Okay. Um, it is in console wise. It's Xbox. Um, it's cool. It's Hunger Games, essentially. Um, yeah. It's got the element of survival. So you're, you start out the game, you could either do, teams of two or single and there's this big area and Mm. you pretty much are dropped off in a pod and then you just run find a building find whatever and start getting resources weapons and stuff because everybody wants to kill you you could try (laughs) hitting them with your fist but you want to get weapons and stuff so you spend all this time getting weapons and finding shots and stuff like that maybe not dying get equipped enough to kill then you kill everybody and then it starts over. Ah. I think it's cool. I think it would be cooler with the second person. But I, I don't know. I don't like the whole scavenging around. And then it it's not really worth, you know, all for nothing. But it's the same as Friday the 13th. Right. You run around trying to find stuff to escape. Um, but in this case, it's just to survive and win. Almost like think about Fallout. Every time you did a level, you go search the level the building get all this equipment but then once you leave that building and go to another part it's all gone and you have to start over oh yeah it true. makes sense i'm not complaining about it it's just i'm, I'm not i'm not feeling that yeah it, um yeah I, hey hey what's up gamer isolation gamer and isolation. uh an rv nender yeah hello what's hiya hiya hey guys um yeah so yeah calling keep going yeah the calling yeah yeah get that it's it's in the preview program right now so there's like a two hour free trial. It's worth trying out. Um, there's a game coming out that's very similar to it. Uh, probably way better. Uh, what else did I play? I've been playing, oh, Speedrunners. I love that oh, game. Oh, Speedrunners. I, I re- <laughs> I've been playing Ranked now and it's it's cool. I really like it. Um, it's, it it's a cool kind of relay uh, it kind of feels like a uh, Doritos, yes, uh, Crash Course, right? Uh, and but at the same time, it's really competitive, and I do enjoy, uh, I, I do enjoy it. So I, I have been playing that as well. Yes, um, yeah. Um, and so then yeah, cool. there's this game. You know, I'm not even going to talk about it because I don't remember the name of it. Um, I mentioned okay. it. It's an open <laughs> world, like Mad Max kind of role. It's a okay. an MMO, but cars. So you build your car, and then you fight other cars and it's an MMO. I played it once. Oh. Mm, I don't know. It, it, it has that Hawken feel. Remember that that free game Hawken? It's about the robots. It came out right when Overwatch kind of came out. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Oh, Hawken. I was playing it's it actually, for a little bit. It's funny. I actually enjoyed Hawken. No, I did too. But you know how the system was, is? It's like if you don't pay, you're never going to get the good robots. Yeah, yeah. That's, the, that's, that's the problem. That's what I feel this game is going to amount to. You're not going to get the good equipment and the good cars until you pay or play for 10 hours, 12 hours to get something. Um, I got that's that. about it. And then over, Overwatch okay. constantly. Um, oh, it's Roxas and uh, James, uh, the, one of our writers on our, uh, on our page. Yeah. Oh, what? Um, 
Yeah, what up? What up? Uh, okay, um, you you mentioned Overwatch. Let's get oh, into that because uh, there is uh, it's something that we've been actually doing together as far as competitive goes. Uh, mind you, we're not like the highest. We're not. We're not. You know, I think I, uh, we're silver, right? I think we're a a, a proud silver. I, I'm a proud silver, just like he is. Um, um, but right? No, you're not as proud. Well, no, 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 no. I'm. You're under. You're like underestimating us. We're good. We're not pro level, but we're good. And when we no. usually would place gold and end up fucking sucking because of our team, which is where yeah. we come up with this new little thing we do. The thing we do that he just mentioned is actually something we mentioned uh, uh, on, a, I think, our last episode we, we mentioned it. But uh, just to reiterate, if you guys didn't hear it, um, what we do is when we're attacking, I'm Farah and uh, Verlaine is Mercy. Shit balls. And a lot of times he's just kind of following me, keeping me alive. And, uh, and then, you know, giving me power when I need it. And I'm just wrecking shit like that. And then on the flip side, on defense... Uh, Verlaine is Symmetra, and I am Mercy. Uh, I'm I, I'm a pretty decent Mercy. That's definitely your main. Mercy's your main for sure. Uh, I'm a I'm a pretty decent Mercy, but you're better Symmetra, I guess is the way. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I'm a better Farah. Farah is my is my is my main for yeah, sure. Yeah, I've seen because I've um, seen say, your say, replays. You play better than me on Farah. Yeah. Um, I've been playing a lot of Farah. I have a lot of experience with Farah, uh, but it seems like these. And, and don't get me wrong, you know, just because we're Mercy and we're just playing, you know, two or you know, a, two, a group of two, we're we're healing others if we can. You know, if they're around, yeah. we'll heal them, no problem. Yeah, you still uh, can't win just us two. No, absolutely not. So, but um, but there are a lot of the time we we try to stay within uh, where everyone else is because I can help everyone while we're going. Obviously, that's a good tactic. So, um, yeah. Yeah, it it, yeah. it works. Um, I I like it because of the fact that we we're it's not like the tank mercy combo that a lot of people think is gonna work. Yes, because of, we're so squishy that we heal super fast. So when right. you're a a little character, you're gonna heal faster than you get damage dealt. When you're oh, yeah. a tank, you're not gonna heal faster. Oh, um, so yeah, it works. And I mean, we had a game where, you know, and I, I didn't, I think it messed us up having other people in our group. You yeah. Know? Because, and it's not a bad thing. It's because when I'm no. sitting here and I see Link and Reckles, I want to heal them, which takes away what our plan is. Me staying up your right. ass. So then that's what Stay screws him. us. You know, same with uh, when I'm Symmetra and I'm like, all right, I'm going in. I'm used to you being directly behind me. And then I go in and die and I'm like, oh, fuck. And you're healing the other team, yeah. which is what you're supposed to do. It's a little easier sure, when sure. you're strangers. It's easier to be like, I'm going to heal my dude. Um, yeah, that's a winning strategy. And I've been even carrying it on. Today I did a couple solo matches and won them uh, because I did the same thing. Um, also oh, okay. yeah. talking on the oh, mics. Yeah. They're, they're saying in the chat room that uh, Genji always needs healing. <laughs> always. Yeah. Genji's true. one of the fastest right. to heal, though. Like, seriously, I'll hold it on just for, like, a second, and he'll be healed. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Overwatch, I'm never going to stop, man. Never going to stop, man. It's a great game. Um, that's why, like, people that are talking about, oh, Paladins is great, but it's it's not. It's not. It's not. It's different. It's not. It's Sorry. A, it's a different, totally, different. totally different game, and I just feel that Paladins isn't as balanced as will never be as balanced as overwatch is no, I agree. I agree. okay uh we have we have uh, a lot of shit to get to and a little time to do it because at nine o'clock uh we are actually uh, attempting i guess i can say that at this point uh attempting to uh carry this the playstation um uh press conference and we're going to react to it so please stay in the room uh with us and react with us that, that's what we want uh, so, uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Uh, e th E3, all the press conferences started. Let's start with the first one. Uh, uh, EA, uh, that was the the first one. When was that? That was uh, the June. 10th. That was two days ago. Yeah, I remember. Uh, Saturday, and uh, they came out. The first thing they talked about was a Madden with a storyline called Madden 18 Long Shot. Uh, I know Verlaine. I know you're not really big into Madden games and, and such, but. I've never seen a mad game with a storyline like this. Uh, it intrigues me. You? Is the storyline, like, is this a separate, 
it like an expansion or is the storyline inside of Madden 18 called long shot? I, I think the storyline is called that. So you oh. could still play probably a season or not or whatever, just like, like it did before. But if you wanted to play kind of like the one player in this pay, in this case campaign, right. uh, that's what it, so I don't know. I'm interested. I'd kind of like want, I'd, I'd want to play that. I think that it's good because the yeah. single player usually gets people better at playing the game. But with That's a game point. like Madden, I don't think, and it's almost been proven because remember they had the co- they used to have the college series and you can create a oh, person yeah. in college and then carry so them good. over to Madden. <laughs> so good. That didn't work because people don't want to play custom. They don't want to play themselves in a sports game for some reason. They would rather play the teams and the players they right. know. Um, so in that case, like, I don't know, and I can't possibly see these characters going into the multiplayer. You know, like even if, if I played the game and I'm like, all right, I'm I'm the Browns, I'm going against the Steelers, but Joe Schmo is the quarterback. That doesn't feel right to me. Yeah, I, I guess I could see what you're saying. Um, I think it's good, but for, for the training, but it's like I don't know how much Madden yeah, but, fans I mean, would actually like it. Way. I mean, all the NBA games you can create a player. Right. Uh, and then you go in, them. and you know, and you're you can you're, go into like you're playground, playground, right? Or do you, you yeah. can can I be me and be on the Cavs and yes, that's what I'm career? saying. Yes, absolutely. That's kind of weird. It's kind of cool though, right? I mean, yeah, just like, it is. Well, WWE, we create a player, and we're oh. uh, all of a sudden we're a WWE wrestler. But our created players dominate anyone, any normal guy. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I see I don't play mad I don't really play sports games enough to like really know what the impact would be or the difference. Yeah. I would only play sports games with you and Link, so I would never play single player. That's well, but this that is different though. We'll see, and we'll see. You know what? See, if if I get EA access and I'm actually contemplating after after this uh down, uh if I get it, uh I I think I'm going to use the free what is it 10 hours or something like that. Uh, of each new game, with a game like that, though, when it comes to campaigns, they don't give you the uh, ten might... hours. They'll give you it's an actual demo, like with um, Battlefield Hardline. Oh, the campaign ended after like the first level for the demo, but oh, the that... multiplayer is fully unlocked and everything else. Oh, okay, I see. still I see. it's worth it. Well, that's cool. Yeah, that's, yeah we'll see. But yeah. uh, another sports game that came out with uh, FIFA 18. I'm not a big into soccer. Uh, I do know the games are pretty fun, and it looks gorgeous. It looks yeah. great. But I go uh, hockey, then FIFA, then any other sports game. Oh, hockey like, first? Hockey's yeah. Hockey's, hockey's hilarious. That's why I like hockey. <laughs> yeah, like, when, when we shot the, the puck into her face. Yeah, <laughs> in the, into my... I want to play it again now. That game is hilarious. Uh, uh, it's cool, FIFA. They're talking about uh, they actually mo uh Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, so you're actually going to get the feel of him actually playing the game. So that's that's pretty pretty crazy because he's an amazing soccer player. So I, I kind of I kind of like see that uh, Need for Speed Payback. Eh, it's a Need for Speed game with a storyline. A lot of okay. them have storylines. They're just not. They're weird storylines. Yeah, yeah, not like, like this. Go and press up us and outdo a cop, and then come back, and then we'll give you yeah, something else to do. That's so old school. Yeah, yeah. Dude, so I'm hoping. A little more extensive. The best, I think the best need for speed was the very first Hot Pursuit. The first one where you could be the cops. Yeah, absolutely. This next gen Hot Pursuit was all right. Two? I think I had that four. Yeah. Um, Yes. I played the newest one because, I mean, you have EA. If you get EA access, you could play it. Um, There was a. It's. I don't like driving games where I can't get out of the car. I know that's stupid. I mean, pretty much I'm saying I don't really like racing games. But this game was cool because you, if you pick to be a cop, you can pick the undercover. So you could drive around, and they don't know you're a cop until you turn on your lights to bust them, which is sweet. Oh, because yeah. usually if you're in a cop car, and I'm talking about other players, like because it's like multiplayer, no matter when you play, like anyone could be there. Um, other than that, Need for Speed is just... I mean, when you have games like Forza out there and and Project Cars that are like focusing on like so realistic of elements of the cars and stuff, and then you have Forza Horizon, which gives you that off road, like off the racetrack, but still the awesome cars. Need for Speed might want to hang it up. 
And if yeah, you think about it, all they're think... doing is coming out the same. They're not even coming out with new titles. It's Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit, Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit, Need for Speed, Undercover, Hot Pursuit 2. Yeah. What? That was good. Uh, uh, yeah, that was good too. But um, uh, all right, all right. Well, we we we, we got to move on. There's so much more to talk about. Uh, the, uh, the the biggest one that I actually, uh, dude, I was impressed the most. I was super excited about it uh, because, uh, well, the uh, Patrick Soderland, so- Soderland, yeah, he's the exec- executive vice president of EA Worldwide Studios, and uh, he was talking about uh, the game A Way Out designed for split screen co-op only and i mean only i so didn't hear you that will be fine but to get the full experience and feel we want you and your friend to play it in your couch so they, they are actually like pushing it that they want you to play with a buddy like locally that's so um, there's no online no there is he says there is here listen to the beginning again designed for split screen co-op only and i mean only so you will be able to play it online so you, so you will be able to play it online but the best experience is to sit next to the guy on the couch um Maybe i even love if this you're online it's split screen it, it probably is but you don't get the same like because i yeah. can see you and all yeah. that I, I, don't know, I don't know how it works um but like um when you're sitting there like it's supposed to be the experience is supposed to be that much better so i already told link that i'm going to have a game with him and i'm probably gonna have a game with you so i'll play (laughs) and i'll have Um, one with link yeah what's that and i'll have one with link yeah and so we'll all have like yeah (laughs) that game does look awesome Um, it looks awesome totally and it's gonna just like shove it in everybody's face that like Split screen is good. It still works. Not everybody in their fucking mm-hmm. mom streams games, so they don't give a fuck about what split screen looks like. Right. And that's the only downfall to split screen is streaming. It confuses people. But if you if you're like paying attention to like Mixer, which was the old Beam, yeah, they're well, you mean, bringing you mean in. Mixer, you mean Beam, which is the old Mixer? No, Mixer is no, Beam. Beam changed into Mixer. Either way, um, I know their huge thing that's coming out on Xbox and it's now on PC is that you can put more on one channel. You can have more than one streamer. So if Dave's streaming at home, I'm streaming at home, we can make one stream, which would be split screen for people to watch. That's true. Isn't it funny how things yeah, just that's... circles? It's just circles. So now split screen is okay. Um, I'm down. Yeah. Either way, I'm down. Yeah, it's not fine. Awesome. Fine. Um, uh, the, another thing they mentioned, uh, actually, it was uh, the CEO of EA, Wilson, uh, Andrew Wilson, and he said this. Starting today for the rest of the week, Origin Access, as well as the Vault in EA Access, are free. All players will also have a bunch of free trials running all week. So that's cool. Uh, I, uh, you, on one hand, you don't really care because you already have EA I've Access. I've been EA Access since the beginning. Right. I, I on the other hand, have never had it. Uh, this kind of gives me a chance to play a few games. Uh, I played um, uh, Mirror's Edge. Oh God, I can't remember. Uh, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, and um, it's okay. Eh, I like the first one better. First one was way better, uh, at least what I thought. And then uh, I I did download uh, NHL 17, so I will be playing that. As well. uh, I should do it too then, so we could both play. Yeah, yeah, redownload. That'd be sweet. That'd be yeah. sweet. Okay. Um, then uh, came. Well, something that we all expected. It was obviously something that it was announced, uh, but w- what we wanted to see, obviously, because it's EA, is uh, Star Wars. Of course. We all wanted to see Star Wars, right? Yeah. Uh, so uh, a-, a couple of things was said about this thing that we didn't really know about. I don't want to spend too much time on it. Uh, but the um, it was actually the voiceover for the- for Commander Iden Versio. And uh, it brings Janana Gavanka, Gavankar. I, that was terrible. I just yeah. totally chopped up that. You just said some uh, chick. Yeah, it's some hot chick. She's she was hot, but anyway. Uh, and she, this is what she said about the new Star Wars Battlefront Two. Just like Rogue One tells an essential Star Wars story ahead of A New Hope. Star Wars Battlefront Two will tell a new Star Wars story that helps bridge the gap between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. That, to me, 
is finally great. It's something that um, I think as a gamer, we finally are getting that Star Wars story. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously, storyline. It was just like, here's Star Wars, here's some characters, here's some, here's some pew, pew, pews, pew, 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 and then let's go. <laughs> so this, this kind of gives us the chance to kind of have the Star Wars game we always wanted. Now, the question is, can we fly into the space when we're not? <laughs> Galactic that's battles. The... Yeah. yeah um, I don't think that's going to This, look, bridging the gap uh, there's so many things that are happening that are bridging the gap. I mean, the Rogue One bridged the gap, a, a major bridge in between. Oh, no, that was the first and third. Yeah, that was between three and four. But with The Force Awakens, they already had a battle in Battlefront that kind of tied it, the Battle of J Jakku. Jakku, yeah. Jakku, like, you get to, like, fight that battle. Um, it's just another way for them to just... <sighs> force a story onto us it's not like they're they had the story they're just making it up for us which is fine i mean what can the only thing i want to know and what everybody wants to know that is going to be the true bridge is what was luke doing between three or between six and seven right. um they might go into that at part eight though either way look when i saw the game yeah, it reminded me it totally reminded me of Real Battlefront because it was the Clone Wars, which is sweet. Um, by looking at it, there are a lot of different characters running around there. There aren't just uh, the clones, which is going to be weird because now they're the good guys. But the clones oh, yeah. and the robots, um, there was also like, you know, Darth Maul. And then you had generals. And then you had Boba Fett. And then you had the big robots and then the small robots. So I think that's going to be cool. They're actually going to get back into the classes of people instead of just, you know, you you would have you would uh build your star card hand. It used to be a classification system. Like oh yeah. The yeah. bigger robots were like the tanky robots and there's a little faster ones and so I'm um, I'm interested and after seeing the Darth Maul gameplay, they they might um be doing the right thing. Yoda. At least when it Yoda. comes, yes, when it comes to adding and letting us play Jedi, that's what people want. Star Wars, no matter what, people want Jedi. Star Wars without Jedi is fucking everything else. Star Trek, not really. Yeah, that's. Fair. But yeah, fair. so um, so to give us that. Gamer Isolation said, "Hit me up on NHL 17. I have a team called Windhelm, so that means we'll lose, unless we. Well, yeah, totally." <laughs> <laughs> I gotta figure out how to play first, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's cool. But All right, Battlefront uh, yeah, so Battlefront uh, is it looks great. It, it it looks like the game that we wanted in the first place, uh, which makes me a little worried about it because of that. But um, at the same time, excited. There's a lot of stuff obviously you could do in this one that you couldn't do in the other. So I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. I want to play it. Me too. Um, especially with the storyline. I want to know. I want to know what happened. I saw Rogue One. I wanted to know what bridged the gap there. Um, so. It was always a loophole until that movie came out. It was the biggest like That's true. loophole. Like, what the fuck? Why would they what do happened? that? Yeah. Now and it's know. almost like that movie was only made to to fix that gap in the story. Why there was a weak spot. <laughs> right. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, all right, moving on. Uh, we uh, There's more to get into. Uh, let's, let's go to Xbox, because that's kind of the biggest thing that happened. Uh, the it, it was the well the original Xbox team lived by the mantra there's no power greater than X and today we are proud to welcome the newest member of the Xbox family Xbox One X and of course, that's the head head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, uh, at the at the press conference, the Xbox press conference. Yes, it's Xbox One X, uh, and with a uh, we'll just come out and say it with a hefty price, uh, four ninety nine. Uh, Verlaine, is this something that you're excited about? No, I don't know. Like, I was no, no, I was oh, you until were. this press conference. I was like, dude, oh, I'm gonna no. get a, I'm gonna get the Xbox, the new Xbox, right when it comes out, just like I did the Xbox One. But then I'm watching and I'm seeing all these sweet yeah. games and then I'm like, wait a minute. All of the games that, and I want everybody to know this, 
all the games they showed us are able to be played on Xbox One. Right. Well, Xbox I'm One, a one and Xbox One X. Right, but I'm not a graphics guy. So what they just did to us was the PlayStation 4 Pro. Just stronger. <laughs> yep. That's all they did. So here's yep. the deal. This system is going to be stupid unless you're up the butt with graphics, and that's retarded. If you focus on graphics and frame rate, you're a retard. I have scientific proof that you can't tell the difference between 45 frames and 60. Scientific guaranteed. proof. Guaranteed. The human eye can only see like a certain amount of frames per second. Anyways. Well, Kareem, well, Kareem Kudroy, the head of Xbox Software Engineering, would disagree with you. Six teraflop GPU clocked at 1.172 gigahertz. Okay. 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory and 326 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. That's it's beast. That's memory and power. But I'm talking. Okay. But, but here's the thing. Okay, that. On a console, we're using a liquid-cooled vapor chamber, normally reserved for servers and high-end PC cards. Okay. <laughs> Is it kind of a gimmick? It's kind of a gimmick, right? Well, the liquid thing. I'm sure it needs it, but it's kind of a gimmick, right? It, I probably, but I mean, I hear a lot of people used to use it back in the late '90s. That's so true. So it's it, it's a powerful system, yes, and it's going to be able, able to play powerful games and do powerful things, but as long as they're still releasing these games on the Xbox One, with the Xbox yeah. One's power, I don't need to do it. I don't need to get it. Once they start needing that power for the games where they're like, it's not coming out on Xbox One, it's not strong enough, then I'll get it. Or when they introduce HoloLens or VR, I'll get it, but until that point, there is no point in jumping on this right away because you're just going to buy Xbox One games and if they happen to have the the D, the upgraded DLC to make it 4K or whatever resolution your heart desires you're still going to have to wait for that Yeah, and it might not even be That's free good. a lot of these they're touting the free like you know if you, you get the Xbox One or you get this game on Xbox One X you're going to get the free free 4k download they're saying it like eventually it's not going to be free to upgrade these games right and if they're not already upgraded think about it think about it you're getting the brand new game could be played on xbox one if you download an update so technically it's an xbox one game that you can make an xbox one x game by downloading the update so without the update it's really just an xbox one game so if you don't download the update you're it, it, your system's redundant for the game. Every single game they announced, we can already play it. We don't even need the Xbox One X. We don't, need, we don't even need it. It's the same with Zelda. I don't. I don't need the Switch because I can play it's it on, on the Wii. Wii U. Yes, yeah. exactly. I get, it. I get it. I get it. So that's why I'm not um, gonna get it right away. Once stuff fair. starts coming out where it's like only Xbox One, or if they a game comes out we can't play together unless we both have it, then I'll get it. That's fair. I like that. I'm in. I'm in that. Um, uh, if 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 I could, if they give me a really good trade in for my Xbox One S, I, I would consider going to the Xbox X, Xbox One X. I would. Mm-hmm. I would. I would. I would. Anyway, um, uh, I know we're not going to probably either of us are going to buy it, but kind of cool. Uh, the Forza Motorsports Seven. They actually introduced uh, the 2018 Porsche 911. Uh, and it's an exclu- exclusive car within the game. It's never been seen by human eyes, uh, which is kind of cool. That's kind of unheard of. I've never heard of anything like that. So I, I'm into that. Yeah. I don't know. That's really neat. It's pretty. Uh, cool. I don't really. And I'm not really into racing games, but it's cool. Yeah. Cool. I had um, Forza Five. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That was with the system, right? No, but I bought it. Or something. I, one day we were streaming. There was like five games only available at all, so I just bought that one so we could stream something new. Remember, oh, and it okay. took so long to download. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we almost didn't even broadcast it because we couldn't even. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. Mm, I. After... If you're just an Indo Creed, it'd be sweet. <laughs> like Egypt. <laughs> well, time. that's why I would. I want to play it. A because they waited longer than a year, so the game's got to be so polished right now. Yeah. Um, B, it's Egypt. So. And see the eagle 
that works like a oh, drone. Yeah. That's yeah. sweet. That's a cool addition. And I bet the f- I bet just everything in this game is better because they actually have time to implement all the feedback from people, all the people that knock Assassin's Creed for being the same thing over and over again. All these new Assassin's Creed games that are just coming out broken. The fighting yeah. used to be sweet. Now it's just stupid, choppy, glitchy. This game could make it up to everybody. It could turn around. Yeah, yeah I could see that. It could if turn it doesn't, around. then I will never, ever even bother with Assassin's Creed. If two years, okay. or if this extra time, this extra year doesn't make the game better, then it's fucking stupid. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not a big, I'm not big, big into it. I know, I know Link is. I know he, he, he's a fan, so he's kind of pretty excited about it. Um, State of Decay two. You like Absolutely. zombies, right? I have State of Decay. State of Decay on xbox 360 you have the first one so is this the one you're looking for this was the one that everybody wanted um because mainly because of co-op like yeah. multiplayer um they wanted it with the first ones but the company was so indie that the only way that their backers would allow them to even focus on multiplayer um would be if i know if they believed that enough people wanted it like they wanted to make multiplayer, but they couldn't convince the backers to let them spend the money to use to make it. But now it's sweet. So yeah, I'm interested in that game. I, I liked that game. It was very cool. We'll see more. It yeah, I think very... we're just gonna see more. Uh, yeah, the the gameplay looks sweet though. Uh, we'll see. Um, the the next one. Uh, we again we have ten minutes and ten minutes. We're gonna go to uh, the PlayStation. Um, uh, press conference and uh, you'll have some re- live reactions from us so we're not going anywhere so you shouldn't go anywhere either um, the, the one game that you and I both said at the same time this is the game that you me Link and anyone else that wants to help us plunder and and uh, and just be pirates uh, Sea of Thieves uh, this game looks really fun it's a yeah. it's kind of a campy pirate game but it looks super fun uh, I am in all day on this one. I I, I am in all day. <laughs> this, I, I'm just hoping that my obsession with Overwatch has subsided when this game comes out because oh, this yeah. game is going to need a lot of time I put so. into it. No, I think you'll be all right. We can go back and forth. We're, we're okay with that. I have a hard time doing that. <laughs> I have Friday the 13th, and I've only played it like three times. Because, yeah, of because Overwatch. of Overwatch. Eh, there you go. Yeah. Is, that, is Overwatch your favorite game? Because at this point, it probably is. Oh yeah, probably game you've played the most. Oh yeah, at least in definitely. a while. Overwatch is definitely my favorite game right now. Right on. There you go. There you have it. Now you know. When I'm not humping my um, sister. I, I, yeah. Uh, during during the uh, what was it EA that? Um, yeah, during the EA they uh, they teased Anthem. Uh, we got more of it during the Xbox uh, briefing. Oh yeah, what's up with all the names? It's a press conference. It's not a briefing. It's not a. It's not a, a showing. A media. What? What is PlayStation calling this? A media showcase. Like, come on. Just it's a press a panel. Yeah. It's a panel. It's a panel. A God, media. it's a panel. Um, but no. Anyway, I, I digress. Uh, Anthem. Uh, this game looks pretty sweet. I know our boy, boy James is like out. He's like, I want anything to do with that. Which I again, I I'll ask him. I already asked him earlier today. Uh, if he smokes drugs, and I really believe that he's th- that he does, but yeah, you because know. he loves it. That's because he loves it. <laughs> I have. But, um... Oh, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. You said you have what? I, I have a bad feeling about this game. I do too. I I was gonna say the same thing. This is, this is one of those games that there's a lot of hype going into it, and we've been disappointed a lot, a lot. We've been disappointed by a game yeah. that looked sweet as fuck, and the multiplayer yeah. looked sweet as fuck, but it had right. fake multiplayer banter. Why? What's wrong know. with the people that were playing the game talking? That is it, it, as right. small of a detail as it is. It still scares me because if I was in charge of why even people know that it's fake the first thing people were like tweeting and commenting on was how fake that banter was yeah why even have it i don't even know why not have yeah, a that, 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 why not? That was so weird. yeah, yeah they're like all right look we'll at this huh? nobody talks no. like that like no the game looks sweet but like if it was if it was us doing the video it would be like 
um, hey, dude, go over here and be like, tell your mom to go over there. Like, and that's like, what yeah, we Yeah, your say. mom. Dude, I'm trying to get this. Dude, help me. <laughs> like, no, fuck you. Like, that. that's what we would say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Eat my uh, balls. Whatever. But it still looks good. I'm interested in seeing a little more. Uh, we got about six minutes, so let's keep going here. Uh, Bethesda, eh, meh, meh. Hey, Bethesda, we understand you made Fallout and Skyrim. Yeah, we get it. Yeah, we get it. It's cool. That's I, cool. Um, Fallout 4 VR, I'm in. I'd like to I'd, I'd like to wear I a Pip-Boy and shoot. I would try it out. I can't of imagine course. it's going to be as as awesome as Fallout, maybe. Doom um, VFR that looks sweet. Looks sweet. Yeah. I haven't played VR. I don't know how the how it would work. How like yeah, first person know. shoot like how accurate it is because Doom is chaotic, and if you don't have like sensitive controls or good controls, it's not going to be fun. Right. I'll still try it. You'll try it. Um, Elder Scrolls Online, Morrowind. Whoa. Oh, I don't know if I need it anymore, dude. I don't know if I need it. I'm good on Elder Scrolls for a while, I think, dude. Uh, e- even even the new uh, El- El- the Elder Scrolls Legends Heroes of Skyrim, the the new card game they're coming out with. Um, I'm out, dude. I'm out. That's a new thing, is card games. I'm out. <laughs> um, well, all right. So shown there was Fable. Fable has their own little card game or whatever the right. fuck it was. Xbox. Yeah, if you guys didn't notice it, it was during like one of the uh they just it was like a video dump. I think there was like fifteen different games that they just showed real quick. And one of them, yeah, was was it Fable's Fortune or for, something like that? Dude I don't know why they're making mm-hmm. it it's obvious that this is just some last ditch effort to keep the Fable name going because they just had probably their biggest project ever which was fable legends fail miserably yeah. this was a yeah. fable fortune that's the name of it yeah, i was right it's it, fable legends could have been a good game especially now because now when evolve came out everybody was like uh this four on one thing is kind of weird because you need to have all those people and then fable legends that's what the whole game was based on one was the bad guy placing all the other bad guy minions in the level and the other four were good guys that failed never caught on right. but now that trend is good so instead of putting your fucking the rest of your change into this piece of garbage game that no one's gonna play why not bring this <laughs> that's game that's ah, 50 percent done like back to life yeah that's a good point it's stu- it's it's just such it's desperation obviously but i mean as long as they take out the part where you have to kick um chickens then then i then i think i'll be because like I, I I'm like what is going on with that fable? That's the weirdest thing. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. Um, so so anyway, uh, uh sticking with uh, the um Skyrim whatever. Um, so Skyrim's coming out on Switch, and you can play as Link from Zelda. We're good. That's it's, all you got. I'm sure, there's already a mod out there that you can do that. Already already been done before. It's it's not great. Sorry, it's not great. Any console that comes out, you can bet your ass Skyrim's going to be on it. Yep. I got to put it on there. You got to put it on there. Why, did, um, why didn't they go with a, like something newer? Like the Elder Scrolls. Yeah, I don't online. know. No clue. Um, okay, uh, three minutes. Three minutes. Here we go. Uh, Evil Within 2 looks sweet. Uh, I, uh, I kind of want to see more of it. You know, obviously it was just a lot of, you know, cutscenes, but it's cool. I want to see more. Um, I don't know, you have anything to say about Evil Within? Eh. I didn't see any, and I didn't play the first game. Oh, you didn't see? Okay, so then we're good. Um, yeah, we're good. Wolfenstein Two, the Colossus, the, the new Colossus looks badass. And apparently, the bitch is back. Blaskowitz is back. Uh, she she is back. So I don't know how she survived, and from the last one, if you played through the first one, I didn't play um, all the way yeah. through it, but I thought it was awesome. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so it looks sweet. Uh, it looks gritty. It looks nasty. I love it. I love Wolfenstein. I've loved ever since Wolfenstein 3D, and that's going old school, man. Oh, that's cool. Um, today, Ubisoft uh, had theirs, and they came out right at the beginning with Mr. Miyamoto from oh. Nintendo came out. Oh, yeah. Uh, and he came out to introduce uh, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. <sighs> 
of all the collaborations that fucking Nintendo could do, they oh don't pick God. Sonic the Hedgehog or anything well, they obvious. That. They already did that. That's fine. But they, they did the Olympic kind of – they <sighs> didn't – it is. Rabbids is just – what the fuck? It almost makes sense, actually. <laughs> it coolest, does. And actually, yeah, it totally makes sense. You're right. The coolest <laughs> thing about this game that people have to realize is that they give Mario and Luigi and Princess fucking guns. Yeah. And Mario is using a yeah. gun. That's a good point. Yeah. It doesn't matter what comes it out is. of the gun. He's got a fucking gun. Love it. It's but crazy. it's turn-based, so I don't know. Let's it is. See. That's what screwed them. When I saw, and they were starting to yep. introduce it, and they were showing the pictures, I'm like, wow. All they got to say is this is just a, like a shooter. Like an Overwatch, but with Mario and Rabbids. Nope. No, it's turn-based. They couldn't even keep it real-time. Um, okay, real quick, because uh, we got to go. Um, Skull and Bones. Uh, if you haven't seen anything about that, that looks like a Sea of Thieves, but like real. Uh, that looks pretty intense. You should definitely go check that out. Uh, South Park, uh, the fractured butthole. You should check that out. And of course, uh, South Park is coming to the mobile uh, called a South Park Phone Destroyer. I can't wait to play that. That's going to actually come out this year. Uh, so we'll get to see that. And then they they ended it with Beyond Good and Evil 2. I know James is totally uh, into that. And yeah, so if you haven't seen that, go see that. Beyond Good and Evil 2. Go check that that trailer out it's this is all on our website gamefix.ning.com without further ado let's go to the playstation uh let's you see got if it? they uh s- i gotta see if they started it yet. um uh well, well no. yeah so but until until next week uh because this is actually the end of our show um the uh we, we say um this goodbye have a nice day. Peace. I love you. See ya. Adios, turd nuggets. Okay. All right.